really, really good about our odds going into this season. Uh, last year with the shortened season, uh, we really saw how important our, our false out of season season is with uh, team chemistry, getting to know everybody, and just getting a foundation for what we have going into the spring. And without having that in the 2020 season, that's something that we can really be excited for having now this year. We've had a lot of time to prepare this year, uh, which is something we didn't have last year. And I think a big thing for us is we've been able to build a lot of team chemistry. Usually in February, we don't have a lot of sunny days like we do now. Um, so it's been, it's been good to be able to go out there, take ground balls, and we've just been trying to stay with, uh, within our program and focus on the team first mentality. One of the things that, that I have pushed for with our team for years is having, having a great culture. And it's a tough thing to get. And, and right now, this group of guys, they've been doing it. They've been working so hard in the offseason, getting in shape, um, coming together as a team. You know, I think talent takes you pretty far, but the culture is what's going to get you to be a championship team. I think so far going into the season, uh, from what we've seen in preseason, that our depth is going to be what's really, really going to help us this year. Every position we have, we're, we're two and three guys deep where everyone is going to be confident that he can get the job done, whoever it may be, at whatever time. We've got some real, real good arms right now, and, and, we're, and, we're, and our bullpen's really good, our starting pitching's good. So I think our, I think our pitching's our strength, but then offensively, you know, we brought everybody back from a team last year that we had a 309 batting average as a team, and, and everybody's pretty much coming back. So we feel good about both sides of the ball, really. We only brought in a small number of, of freshmen this year, um, and we were able to kind of fill the holes that we're looking for. We've got one uh, freshman that's going to have a good chance of uh, being in our starting rotation on the mound. Uh, we got another middle infielder from MUS local here in Memphis, and he's going to be able to chip in and do a lot of good things for us as well. Uh, so we're, we're excited. We've got a catcher from New York that's done a really good job defensively behind the plate. Um, and really our whole freshman class has been really, really strong for us. So we're excited about that as well. Fans keep an eye out this year for, for a lot of our guys. Uh, more specifically, Nick Ferrazzi, he's just coming off our Conference Pitcher of the Year Award. Uh, we're returning almost all of our starting nine in, in the field, with the exception of Paul Giacomazzi, who came back to coach. So maybe keep an eye on him, see how he's doing as a coach. But uh, all of the seniors and the older guys are, are experienced, and there's really no one that you shouldn't keep your eye on this year, the way I see it. Coaching staff is great. Um, they really take time to know the players and know our strengths and weaknesses and help us build on those strengths and help our weaknesses. Um, so I think this year, as, as with all years, um, the coaching staff is going to help us be the best, do the best of our ability. The big change for us is we have a new pitching coach. Uh, Coach Bennett, who's been a great addition to the program, and I think he's doing a lot of great things for our pitching staff. Uh, this year, I think fans should be really excited about our strength of schedule. Our conference schedule is always really tough. We have one of the toughest conferences in the country in terms of for our baseball. Uh, right now, Birmingham Southern's ranked number seven in the country preseason, so obviously that's always going to be a big game with us, a weekend. Um, Barry is also, you know, they, they won the conference last year, uh, regular season. Our whole conference is really strong. So all the teams we play, Center, Swanee, Hendricks, Oglethorpe, Millsaps, all really good teams. So that's exciting. But then we've got some really tough opponents outside of conference. This weekend we're starting up with uh, um, LaGrange on Saturday and Milliken on Sunday. Both teams are, are ranked, you know, the top 30, 40 in the, in the country. Uh, we play Webster, who's ranked in the top 20 in the country next weekend. Piedmont, who's a really strong South Region team next weekend. Uh, we play Whitewater down in Florida. They're always a perennial top 10 team in the country. We play them twice, so we've got a really tough non-conference schedule, and our conference schedule is always hard, so. Make sure y'all come out this year to the Stoff or Stoffer Field out here on campus. Y'all have always do a great job at coming out to games. Um, the students have come out, but especially our parents and, and, the, and the people that have come out to see our games, we're excited about it. We are pumped, we're playing this weekend. We're down in Jackson, Mississippi, the first two games. Home opener on Sunday here, this Sunday, 12 o'clock against uh, Milliken. Rolex.